Hi, I'm Chris Cooper from Norfolk Yacht Agency, and this is a short walkthrough video of this 2003 Renaissance 30 Sunbridge uh, Motor Cruiser Pisces. So she's got a uh, Narni 4.150, which is a 37 and a half horsepower um, diesel engine. She's on uh, on shaft um, through a hydraulic gearbox. Uh, she's five berth in uh, two cabin spaces. That includes the um, saloon. And uh, she's got quite a high specification. She's fitted with uh, bow thruster. Uh, she's got shore power, inverter, uh, heating system, uh, rear view camera. And her boat safety uh, certificate is valid until July 2024. So stepping aboard, the first thing you notice is that uh, it's very easy to board. You've got a, a little transom to get over here. And then great access through the boat, which is all on one level. Uh, with a forward door, you can just see in the video there, and, uh, and a forward well, we'll get there in a sec. So, engines under the hatch at the um, aft end of the boat on hydraulic drive. Again, I'll uh, get there in a sec. And then we've got a couple of steps up to the upper helm position. So, it's a helmsman seat and controls here, and Quite a nice l shape seating on the upper deck. Folding windscreens and uh, folding backrests on those seats that uh, drop the air draft down below eight feet. So a sun hatch on the um, on the main saloon roof and uh, and rails you can see all the way round the boat. So we'll just take you for a quick walk. Walk around here, nice wide side decks. Again, quite nice handrails everywhere you look really. As you walk around the boat, there's something to hold on to. And she really has got nice wide decks. So there's a little bow well here with some Quite nice seating and uh, that's certainly quite a pleasant place to to sit. Gin and tonic in hand. And then we've got a door into the forward end of the boat. So climbing aboard from that forward well, we've got the lower steering position. And uh, that's quite well equipped as well, actually. There's rear view camera there just shows you what's going on at the back end of the boat and uh, engine instrumentation bow thruster control throttle controls here there's our switch gear on the dashboard this is the changeover between upper and lower helm and the builder's plaque there and uh, the stereo the front um, front for the uh, stereo is, um, is stowed I think in one of the drawers so the helm seat here this forms um, part of the saloon dinette so it's a fold over helm seat so the backrest just swings over into an alternative position so you've got really quite a nice dinette, dinette space there the table folds down into the gap, the um, cushions sit on top of that and, uh, and that makes up into a double berth. So this is berth number five. And uh, a client asked me whether, whether an adult would fit on that, but yeah, it's a really good size. If I just move this infill cushion and show you under there, you've got a good foot space. So I think, I mean, I'm, I'm quite a tall guy. I'm six foot three and uh, I think I'd sleep on there reasonably comfortably. These cushions. I mean, these, have been, these cushions are the uh, infills for the, for the saloon berth. They, they, they're just all in there, but you can take them out of the way and you've got really quite a wide berth there. So, galley, there's um, uh, quite a big Dometic fridge. 
in quite a nice condition. That's 12 volt, relatively new bit of equipment. There's a microwave here in the galley. And, uh, and then we've got a Vanette um, double oven. Let me put it in the top. And then an oven below. And a rare thing on a boat, a four burner hob. We'll stainless steel sink here and, uh, and we've got plenty of storage under. Got a hanging locker in here as well because of course this is a, a sleeping cabin as well as the saloon. All the timber work in here is in pretty good condition this is uh this is a melamine but the but the trims and the edging is hardwood and there's no real marks or damage it's actually in really very good condition so she has spent most of her life actually as a charter boat um which i suppose is probably why i'm um, i'm commenting on the on the condition of the timber work but uh it certainly doesn't show um Unfortunately, there's no engine hour log to give you hours. I mean, I would imagine that the uh, the hours would be reasonably high, but um, but certainly the condition of the boat uh, really doesn't suggest that uh, that she's had a, a tumultuous and hard life. So, just round to the port here, we've got toilet and shower compartment and the shower head is oh, there we go over this floor space so it is a wet room there's a heated towel rail in here and a Dometic electric toilet which I would say is a relatively recent fitting heating control there Uber Spatcher a warm air heating system and as we walk through into the aft cabin you've got the main berth there a nice comfortable looking domestic mattress and a small headboard there curtains all the soft furnishings in here actually are in really good condition and i would say were fairly recent so we've got quite a big sideboard unit. There again, plenty of storage. And these spaces. Mm. I wonder if I want to come undone. And then we've got switch gearing isolators there as well. So this is the uh, 12 volt breaker panel along with the um, 240 uh, panel circuits and also the inverter control there as well. And then just above those, we have isolators, uh, engine, uh, inverter, and uh, domestic batteries. And then just down here, we have a bow thruster isolator. length mirror on the back of the door there very nice boat and as ex charter boats go actually in very good condition so just lifting the engine hatch we'll give you a view of the engine bay so this is a Nani which uh, is a computer-based um, diesel engine. 37 and a half horsepower on a hydraulic gearbox. It's the hydraulic pump here. Nice to see a sensible uh, fan belt there. No, not a fan belt, is it? It's a drive belt, but uh, there's our weed filter. And then just pulling back a little bit, you can see the gas bottle here. 
quite classically used as a storage locker. <laughs> Not sure what the weight safety man would have to say about that sure pal eat in there, but uh, it's a big space so you can maybe understand why. Certainly space for, for two two gas bottles in there, probably. Actually room for larger bottles. So that lid goes down onto the um, half deck and that's our engine compartment. So we go, motor cruiser Pisces. <laughs>